Hi there and welcome back to the M5 Stack official channel. It's Luke here and we've got something a little bit different for you this week. Our distributor in Japan, Switch Science, has been running this M5 Stack creativity contest. So I thought we'd have a look at some of the wacky, wonderful and ingenious projects that have come out of this contest. Around 160 projects were submitted in this contest, but we're only going to be picking a few of the highlights. Of course no hackathon in 2020 would be complete without a few COVID related projects. So first we have this automated soap dispenser. It uses the PIR sensor to dispense soap, but also tells you how long you've washed your hands for, all of this using UI Flow. While not directly COVID safety related, this cage garden provides a little solace for those stuck indoors by providing a sense of nature indoors and ambient lighting which also serves as a weather updater. In this project the creator has combined the M5 Atom with a bunch of 8x8 LED matrixes. It's been designed so the M5 Atom can link up to a Bluetooth app which allows you to send various text and graphics across to the screen. It also appears that it's controllable with some of the face modules, and the designers even created some custom blocks for UI Flow. Next up is one of my personal favorites. I've always been a fan of musical gadgets, and the capsule cord is definitely an impressive one. The buttons on the left-hand side of the device allow the player to trigger various chords, and the buttons on the right allow for various phrasings of those chords. Aside from that, it's also possible to use the gyro of the device to modulate the notes. Since it's been designed with the BLE MIDI standard, it's compatible with most platforms. The source code can be found on the GitHub page, but the case files for 3D printing are not available. I really hope this cool project can be turned into a final product. This project is also a musical one. It takes the concept of using punch cards to make music and digitizes it. A text file with the punch card pattern is placed in the SPIFS partition of the ASP32 flash. Then the device will output that tune on the press of a button. This next project is sure to be a hit with the kids. It uses the M5 Stick C to control a robotic arm which picks up soap to blow bubbles. The motion of the robotic arm is said to optimize the size of the bubbles. The creator said he would like to use the TOF sensor to make sure that there is liquid in the loop and also to use the AI camera for checking the size of the bubbles in order to optimize the working of the bubble machine. Now that's dedication. Now no Japanese hackathon would be complete without a bunch of robots. So to kick it off we have this cute little nano walker which uses two tiny servos and is controlled over Bluetooth. Next up we have this awesome M5 Stick C tank which is controlled over ESP now with another Stick C. The tracks allow it to traverse various tricky terrain and it's also a well documented project. Next entry is a Cartesian robot which seems to be an exercise in minimalism, using only straws, fishing wire and servos along with the M5 Atom. Last entry in this robot section is this great tablet controlled robot, which uses the M5 camera and is programmed using Scratch 3.0, which makes it even easier for kids to program. It even boasts facial recognition capabilities. Next up we have a bunch of projects utilizing the touchscreen of the new Core 2 device. Who doesn't love popping bubble wrap? And that's just what this infinite bubble wrap game allows you to do. Tap on the screen to pop the bubbles and get tactile feedback from the vibration motor inbuilt into the Core 2. Lovian, the creator of the original Lovian launcher, is back once again with an updated version of the Lovian launcher for the Core 2. It features the same scrolling menus and keyboard but with touchscreen interaction. It features a whole suite of utilities and you're able to load your apps from within the launcher. He's also been developing a graphics and UI library which you can see an example of with these smooth sprites in this demo. 
be sure to check out this project at Love Yan's GitHub. Here we have a remake of the classic title game Puzzle Bobble. It uses the M5 sticks gyro to control the trajectory of the balls. It looks a lot of fun to play and definitely brings back a lot of memories from the arcade era. Now where would a Japanese contest be without a decent dose of wacky? So here we are. Some of my personal favourites are this gesture controlled tissue box robot, a broccoli carrying robot, and a device that helps you to wink, and lastly a social distancing teapot. Hope you enjoyed these clips, thanks for watching this video. Remember to check in the description if there's any of these projects you're interested in, and let us know in the comments if you make any of these projects. That's all for now, goodbye.